Dude, I was talking to my buddy today. I was talking about you settling in and like and and liking it. And he was like, he was like, I genuinely don't think like I've met an Italian since I've been down here. Yeah. They're like not you guys are like not around. Tell you something. I, I put a blueprint out for where I'm gonna put all my trucks. <laughs> all my WAP trucks, dude. Arancini balls. Well, it's so bizarre going from the northeast where you're everywhere. Uh, yeah. To he's like he's like now when I hear an Italian name I'm like oh shit. Yeah. What happened? You know, yeah. yeah. How did you get that? Yeah. Here? Did somebody die? Dude. Are you here for a wedding? Oh. Are you out of town? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your neighborhood true. has got to be like what the fuck? It's is true. Going no, on dude. Over my there? neighborhood fucking is it's ins- it's a cul de sac. It's. Not a cul-de-sac, but the whole entire neighborhood feels like you're you're at the corner of a cul-de-sac. Yeah, just yeah. a roundabout. Every town has that, or every house has that same feel. Like I gotta make a U-turn and, and get out of here, yeah. <laughs> dude. I have a, dr- a driveway. I drug my trash cans up a driveway last night. I smiled at the moon, <laughs> dude. The, I know the level of adulthood that I'm <laughs> now know. experiencing at 44. I didn't know you didn't. I apologize to all our fans that said like, "Dude, grow up." <laughs> I get it. It's like yes. the, the the ice water bath shock of realizing you don't have to hear people, you don't have to see people. Yeah. The only person I saw was this dude John, the first guy that came across the street. He looks like the Ice Man, Ted yeah. Kaczynski from HBO. Yeah. I'm, I mean, spot on. That's what I'm saying. You, you and your girl in that neighborhood have to be. Everyone's got to be like, what? Yeah. 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 Too much spice. <laughs> Too much spice at that address. <laughs> Dude, I imagine, Too much heat. I imagine it's a neighborhood where like everyone's going off like like delivering cookies or like baked goods, but they really just want to get a look at what the fuck's going on. Dude. In there. Yeah. I jumped in the lift to get here today. Yeah. The guy, John, his name is, a wonderful southerner. His first words out of my mouth, he was like, You so you guys are new here? Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just moved in. He goes, I know, I've been watching. <laughs> and I was like, Okay. I've been watching. And then his next comment was, you know, things are changing around here. They're not like they used to be. And then I took that personal, of course. I was yeah. like, Oh yeah, so you know, someone darker than a peach moved across the street from me, so <laughs> yeah. you're fucking upset. Uh, dude. <laughs> but he's the sweetest dude. He just and he's flicking a min around his around his teeth, just yeah. like Ted Kuklinski. You ever see the, the HBO no. documentary on the Iceman? Unbelievable. He fl- he flicks. He's a serial killer for the mob. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, and he's get being interviewed, and he's got a very calm disposition. And the guy's like, "Do you ever?" He's talking to a psychoanalyst or a psychologist or something. He's like, do you ever feel like uh, sorry or guilty? And he's like, and he's like 6'8", yeah. 320, giant yeah. fucking beast of a man. And he's just looking into the fucking ether and he's like, I never, uh, I don't feel anything. <laughs> I don't feel anything. And that's how this dude was talking to me. I was like very calm. Yeah. And I felt like at ease. Threatened. And then yeah. I asked him about recycling days. When does my cardboard have to go out? What does the compost go out? And I'm trying to pick his brain. Now he's my boy. Yeah. But before I got in the lift to come to you. You got to start by asking him, when does trash go out? You can't start with recycling. You might t- push a button. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about sports or politics. <laughs> Let's get to the fucking nitty you know, yeah, gritty, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Every time you're fighting, you're thinking about <laughs> yeah. them listening well, to Well, that's it. what he left yeah. me with. I'm sorry. I started this conversation about the lift. I left the lift. He goes... I'm walking into the lift. Clearly, he knows I don't have a, a car. Mm-hmm. I've been spending thousands of dollars on lift in fucking a week. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the worst thing about going in the suburbs. I got nowhere to go. I'm landlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk around the suburbs, you wave at people, and then you fuck off and get drunk at all. <laughs> it's great. So he, he sees me clearly trying to get in the lift, and I'm going, thank, yeah, no, yeah. And he goes, um, what's up with that light thing that's in the window? And he's talking about in the in our living room area, the back of our television, if you remember, has that light strip. Oh. And I'm watching TV at like three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so he's passive aggressive in my head, he's passive aggressively saying, So what's going on with that light thing in the window? I saw it. He's letting me know that he's up. He's watching. He's watching me. I don't have a drape on the front window because it's kind of they're so f- kind of far away. But the light I can see is fucking with him. This guy's a real problem. He might be a problem, is what I'm saying. This guy might be a fucking problem. Is he... How old is he? <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> problem is <it's> Texas. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't right? run my mouth and just go, shut <laughs> yeah, up, you yeah, old yeah. fat shit. 
<laughs> I gotta start calming down. He comes out just like turning. Yeah, air. he's like, oh, what were you saying about fat shits? <laughs> Dude, he's a six eight sweet guy, giant fucking beast of a man. I can't imagine what his. Oh, he's six eight. He's huge. He's probably six five. Still, six five. He's probably 70, 68 years old. Kind of spry. Yeah. He dresses like fully in Hawaii. Is he like painting? He's always got like a fucking big bucket hat on and a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, that rules. It does rule. He's, but he's a conundrum. I think he's fucking, like visually, it's, everything's off. When you see somebody dress like that and they talk like that and they act like that, you, it's like a CIA operative. Yeah, yeah. It's like Who a poorly formed really? character. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're like, what? Well, yeah, this outfit doesn't make sense. You're, it's like a Quentin Tarantino character. It's like, yeah, that guy doesn't exist, but it's fun to watch and listen to. Have you been over his house? Oh. <laughs> When that happens, baby, I'm calling you quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you quick. I'm like, yeah, let me just call my friend. He's going to come on over, too. Put on your, yeah, to yeah. share your location I with ain't me. going in that den fucking solo. Dude, make him, make, him, make him a nice meal. Make him a nice Palestinian meal and bring it over. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. If you want to see the full episode of me and my pal here fucking off, uh, click here. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also, like and subscribe to our regular podcast channel, Stuff Island. Stuff Island. Uh, and then we got Patreon.com where there's hundreds of hours of like more stuff. We got cooking stuff. We got VR stuff. We're going to do all kinds of crazy trips and whatnot. So check that out on uh, Patreon.com. Patreon.com? Patreon.com slash Stuff Island.